Hi, I'm here at the uh, Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. I'm aboard the uh, new Nordhaven 80. Uh, my name is Dave Harlow, the project manager for the 80. Uh, this boat was designed by Jeff Leishman and built at South Coast Marine. Yeah, this is the cockpit of the 80. And as you can see, it's completely covered from uh, sun and rain. It's got a giant custom table that the owner had built. And a barbecue platform over here. And uh, this goes, door goes down to the cruise quarters. And uh, over here on the aft rail here, we've got uh, the control station. There are six control stations on the boat. If you're entertaining back here and it gets a little windy, we've got these uh, wind doors here on either side. Kind of close off the wind and diverts it so it stays a little nicer back here when you're entertaining. This on the starboard side here, heading up to the Portuguese bridge. We got uh, port and starboard side control stations up here. Yeah, we got storage compartments all the way across the Portuguese bridge. On uh, both sides here. And uh, then another control station on this side. Walking up to the bow here, we've got uh, one of two davits on the boat and for storage of uh, all the toys up here, dinghy, sailboat, kayaks, whatever you want. We got a double anchor set up here with a great place to stand up here. There's giant chain lockers, one on either side here. We got this giant back deck here. This is uh, the second level deck with uh, another davit, but a uh, 16 foot dinghy, uh, jet skis, motorcycle. It's all kind of protected, so it's a great place to put a motorbike or, or pedal bikes. We got them. Yeah, we'll head on now up to the flybridge. Up here on the flybridge up here, and it, uh, you can play tennis up here, it's so big. But it's got a giant jacuzzi up here. A big sun pad with a storage underneath. Um, full walk around so you can get around everywhere. It's got this uh, giant entertaining center up here with uh, refrigerators, ice maker, uh, barbecue sink, and a great room up for his lounging, hanging out. Uh, two pilot chairs up here. You can fit a third one if you like. Um, all the instrumentation. And uh, this hardtop is built so it's designed so you can completely enclose it if you want with icing glass or canvas. You got a great field of vision up here from this flybridge. It's just gigantic up here looking around. There's room for, like I said, there's room for three chairs up here, a dozen guests, and uh, the view is just incredible. You can see every inch of the boat from here. So docking from this position is really easy. Hey, come on inside, we'll take a look at the salon and uh, dining area. Yeah, there's a giant salon here. You can see it tied into the uh, galley and the dining area. And this is kind of an open book here. You can design anything you want in this, this layout. Um, you can separate the galley more or less. The galley can have a bar with uh, benches or have it like it is. It's kind of completely enclosed for uh, private dining. Got a real nice ample uh, dining area here. It's uh, seating for six. There's only four chairs now, but it's a table for six. Uh, full wet bar and uh, the galley with a high low divider so just with a push of a button you can seal off the galley and the dirty dishes. Now yeah, walking over to the galley here got a real nice day head and a giant galley with everything you're going to need and also a little place to Sit and hide away if you want. Cut some vegetables or read a book. Um, this could also be a giant pantry if you wanted to. Yeah, going forward is the owner's date room. Got a real nice date room with a kind of a lounging place over here and a desk to do some personal work. Uh, two large walk in closets. And then going forward into the head, this is the only step on this whole level from the back door through the salon, dining room, galley, state room. There's only one step, it's all one level except for this. A real nice his and her sinks, a great shower, and a private head.
Then heading up the stairs here, going to the uh, Skylands and Pilot House. Up here in the Sky Lounge, it uh, has a whole nother galley for serving up here. You know, obviously a great place to sit and a great view here all around the boat on both sides. You know, one of the cool options on this boat is this uh, vacuum elevator. It's a pretty slick design. It um, just uses a vacuum pump and it uh, sucks the tube up and lets it fall back down with just uh, releasing the pressure, kind of like a tube at a bank. Yeah, then moving forward here, we've got the pilot house in a, got a nice door here, real quiet, uh, double gasketed, just to, in the pilot house driving the boat, people are entertaining, kind of keeps it private, sealed off and quiet. See, it's a giant pilot house here for seating for six to eight people. There's a room for three helm chairs across here, and any instrumentation you can think of can fit in this boat, no problem. I headed down to the uh, lower staterooms and the laundry room down here. Coming down to the uh, guest staterooms on this boat. This boat can have a three guest stateroom layout or even a four guest stateroom layout if you want. Um, going forward here, there's a giant walk-in closet. And through this is a, another kind of a bonus room up here. We're gonna, we call the forward bilge area. And if we put all the water gear up here, it's completely watertight. It's a watertight bulkhead. Then further forward down below, there's another kind of watertight bulkhead in the bulbous bow. And you'll see the hatch for that here up ahead. This is a two separate compartments up here. We've got the, the water heater, all the water making gear. Then up forward here, we've got um, uh, all the pumps. Everything is water related is up in this room here. And everything in the boat that we can do, everything's cushy mounted, just to keep it extra quiet, less vibration through the boat. Everything's really easy to get to up here. It, if anything gets wet, all drains right out, can be cleaned out real easy. And then down below, that's going into the bulbous bow area, um, another watertight compartment. Stepping into the laundry room here. We've got a separate washer dryer stacked. We've got great storage in here for all your equipment and laundry stuff. Uh, we've got the breaker panels for the entire boat is in here. And then from here on out, we go to the engine room. It's another watertight bulkhead here, the watertight door coming into the very sizable engine room. Um, this engine room is so impressive, what the guys have done at the yard, it's just, just fantastic. This again has got uh, all the same bilge pumps as other compartments. And this is the big hydraulic uh, emergency bilge pump system over here. And you got obviously the two main engines, uh, two generators in this boat, uh, workbench, oil chain system, new and used oil tanks. Uh, this room is fully air conditioned. Um, watertight, super soundproof in the whole ceiling walls everywhere, so the boat's super quiet. Coming back to the back of the engine room, it, uh, another watertight bulkhead going into the cruise quarters. There's a really nice cruise quarters on this boat. You can have a single bunk like it is now, or a double bunk. It's got a you know small galley, but it's definitely good for a couple of crew members. A uh, place to sit and do some work here. And then on this way out here, up these stairs goes back to a private entrance here. It goes into the cockpit, so you don't have to go all the way through the boat to get to this. 
And then uh, going back this way is into the lazarette area and the steering gear. We use the Jastrum steering system on this boat. It's a really robust, well thought out system. Uh, you can see the size of everything here. This boat steers incredibly well. Um, everything's easy to get to, easy to look at and adjust and, and, uh, and just check. Hey, thanks for joining me on the quick Nordhaven tour. Obviously, there's so much more to this boat than a simple tour can show. Um, from its fuel tank capacity, it boats incredible range, its water capacity, um, all the systems on the boat. There's a lot to discover about this boat. And you can start by going onto our Nordhaven website and it's looking at the Nordhaven uh, 80. This is hole number one, designed by uh, Jeff Leishman. And uh, thanks for joining.